Asana versus Jira. In this video, I'm going to compare these two project management or task management softwares so that you can find out which one is the best for you. So what I'm going to do is simply go over the pricing and I'm going to show you the inside of both platforms and show you how they operate and how they work. Let's get into that. All right, let's start off with the pricing. So let me open pricing for Asana and I'll also show you pricing for Jira. So with most project management softwares, you'll see that there's a huge difference in the pricing. Some of them don't even have free plans, but for these two, free plans are indeed available. So this is Asana. You can see that they've got a basic plan and that's for individuals or teams that are just getting started with project management and it's zero dollars, zero euros. It's free forever, basically. And it comes with a lot of good features. So for Asana, this comes with unlimited tasks, unlimited projects, unlimited messages, unlimited activity log, unlimited file storage, um, collaborate with up to 15 teammates, list view projects, board view projects, calendar view, assignee and due dates, project overview, project brief, iOS and Android, time tracking and 100 free integrations. So you can see that it comes, even though it's free, it still comes with a lot of good features. If we go to Jira, you also see that it's um, there's a free plan available for up to 10 users, which is pretty cool. Most softwares will have free plans, but it could be for like three people or five, but for Jira it's 10, so that's definitely very cool. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see that it, this also has quite a lot of features. So if I scroll down, you'll see the only features they don't have is more of the advanced stuff. So audit logs, anonymous access, admin insights, IP allow listing, sandboxes, um, release tracks. So all of this is very advanced stuff that's only available on the premium or enterprise plan. However, if we take a look at what's still available, you'll see that they've got automation right there and that's very cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that in a bit, but this is definitely a great benefit on Jira because automations are so cool and so helpful because you can automate any task, as you can see, or process with just a few clicks. Now, if you're running a business or you're a manager, you'll know the importance of having systems in place and automating stuff so that you don't have to worry about it or even spend time on it because that will save you time that you can then invest in other stuff which can help you keep growing your business or do your job better. So that's great. But let's sign in and let's show you how this looks because you can see that pricing is pretty similar for the free plan and also for the pay plan. So this one costs seven per user, 14 per user. If I go to Asana, it's a bit more. It's um, probably $13.28, 29, I'm not sure, because it's in euros. But yeah, there's a slight difference. So Jira is definitely cheaper than Asana, but I'll also show you why that is in a bit. So if I go to Asana, this is what it looks like on your main. So this is Asana, this is Jira. Now you can see that there's a big difference and I'll show you that in a bit. So the menu is on the left hand side and for Jira it's on the left hand side as well. So that's similar but if I open a board, this is what Asana looks like. And if I open a board, this is what um, Jira looks like. So this is great for task management. You can also use it for project management and I'll show you how it works right now. Now let's say that this video needs to be edited, right? So I would do Jira versus Asana video editing. I can then add this as a specific to do thing. If we do that on Asana, you'll also see that it's pretty similar, but here you can choose. So you can go with overview, you can go with list, you can go with board, timeline, calendar, dashboard. So you've got a few different layouts. I always use list because it's pretty similar to Monday to come, but it actually, yeah, it's just convenient. So what you can do here is simply add a task. So what you can do to do, um, edit the Asana versus Jira video. You would add that as a task and what you can do on, on Asana is simply add people to that, so assignees. So what you can do is click right there, then add the person that needs to edit the video or whatever task that may be. What you can then do is also add a due date. Let's say that they need to do that um, between, or like before, the 29th of, oops, 
just like that. So on Friday, before Friday, as of the time of recording, the 29th. So you can then add specific dates so that they know they need to do it. You can add priority. So the priority for this video is high. The status will put it on whatever that then whatever that then may be. So if the person that's doing this is on track, they can do this at risk. If they're not sure if they're going to make it, if they are behind, they can do this, and you'll then know what's going on. Um, for that specific project. Now you can add the plus sign in the top right corner and you can add field titles. So if you click right there, text, numbers, options, option one, option two, you can add all of this. You can also choose from their library in the, f in the field of marketing, which is cool. And you can also do that on Jira. So right there, this is the board. The way this works on Jira is that you can add a to-do thing. You can simply slide it over to in progress and then slide it over to done and that's it. You can also add people to the cards by simply assigning them, which you can see right there. They'll then be able to see what's assigned to them. They can see what um, is due this week, which is cool. And what I like about Jira is that if you click right there, open a new tab and open a new tab, they'll have guidelines, step-by-step -step blueprints set up to create a good workflow for project management. And you can see exactly how other people are doing this. So use Jira Core for task management. Click right there. And they'll show you how to set up a basic workflow that's going to work great. So if you're a beginner in project management or you're a business owner that's just scaling, trying to figure out how to do this, because that's what I used to do as well. Like a few months ago, I actually started scaling my business, started working with some amazing editors, some other people. And I was trying to figure out how do I actually set this up so that it's automated, it's easy for me and the freelancers as well, because it needs to work for both. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like what I got stuck with. But right now, if you would do this, you would get a step-by-step -step blueprint that's going to show you an effective way to set up a workflow, which is really cool. So yeah, that's something I like. However, let's cut to the chase here. So we've got Asana and we've got Jira. In my opinion, for project management, if you're managing a large team, I would go with Asana all the time. Like Asana is probably better for a big team. However, if you're doing small teams or task management more kind of, then I would go with Jira because Jira is kind of built for that. It's built for um, project management, but also just issues, issue solving. Um, so yeah, I would go with Jira if you're doing that. However, both of these are great platforms that you can start using. Um, but yeah, let me know your personal opinion. Let me know which you're going to go with in the, uh, in the comment section, my bad, down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.